In this video, I'm gonna show you a quick and super simple way to add text behind an object or a person inside Premiere Pro. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White, and if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start out by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So the first thing I'm gonna do with my clip already down on the timeline, I'm gonna find the spot to where I want the text to appear, and right here looks pretty good for me. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press T on the keyboard, I'm gonna click anywhere inside the frame, I'm gonna type in what I want my text to say. Then I'm gonna go over here under effects control and I'm gonna make sure that my text is highlighted and I can make adjustments to the text. I can change the font, change the size of my font. I wanna make this a little bit bigger. And then what I'm gonna do to center this up is I'm gonna go over here to the graphics tab. I'm gonna click on edit here. And then I'm just gonna click this center button to center it up within the frame. And I'm just gonna bring this up just a little bit. That looks pretty good right there. Then I'm gonna go back over to the editing tab. And now what I wanna do is make sure that I have my text selected. Then I'm gonna scroll down and under transform where it says opacity, I wanna change this down to 10%. This is gonna be extremely important because what we're gonna do here in just a minute, this is gonna allow me to see my original video clip through the text. Then I wanna scroll down some more under where it says video, and I'm gonna click on this little pen tool here, the free draw bezier, and this is gonna allow me to create a mask. And I'm gonna mask around myself to make sure that the text shows up behind me in the frame. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go over here to fit, change this to 200%, and I'm just going to mask this out. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna do this fairly quickly, but the more you take your time, the better this mask is gonna look, the better the effect is gonna look. Once I've finished masking everything out, I'll then change this back to fit, just kind of look at everything. And then I'll go back in, change this to 400%, and then I'm gonna go in and make some small fine tune adjustments by just holding down Alt on the keyboard, clicking on one of the points, and just shaping this to match whatever I want it to look like. And that looks pretty good to me. Like I said, the longer you spend on this, the better the effect is gonna look. So once I finish masking out my subject, I'm gonna scroll down over here and I'm gonna check the box that says inverted. And that's gonna put my text on the outside of my subject. Then what I wanna do is scroll back up and I'm gonna change this under transform the opacity back to 100%. And I'm gonna scroll back down and I wanna turn, at this time I wanna turn the mask feather all the way down to zero. Then what I'm gonna do is select the footage of myself. And that looks like it's masked out pretty well for that first frame. So throughout the clip, there's a little bit of movement. And what we'll have to do is we're gonna have to move this mask around to make sure that the text doesn't look weird whenever it's on the screen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the very first frame for the text, click on the text clip, and then we're gonna scroll down under where it says mask one. I'm gonna click the stopwatch right here to create a keyframe. I wanna make sure that the mask one is selected so that I can see those blue dots again. And then I'm just gonna go forward a couple of frames. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm just gonna make small adjustments. If I zoom in, you'll notice that I need to move the mask over. So what I'll do is I'll start off by clicking and dragging that mask over just a little bit, making sure that it fits back onto my subject correctly. And then I'll just go all around the body and fix these if I need to by moving them back into the proper position. Then I'm gonna go over five more frames Zoom this back in. And I'm gonna keep doing this all the way to the very last frame of my text. And the trick to this effect is just taking your time and making sure that your mask is cut out really well. If you do struggle a little bit, you can go down here to where it says mask feather and change this up to about 5%. And all that's gonna do is just leave a little bit of blurriness. It's going to make sure that it blends really well. You can see around the edges here. I'm not a huge fan of this. I really like the way it looks like just sharply cut, but if you wanna add like 2%, that's just gonna kinda of blur out those edges and make it look a little bit more smooth. Once I've dialed in all my settings the way that I want them to, I'll just play it back, make sure that I don't see anything crazy. And that looks pretty good to me. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing, hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.